Hello everyone. Oh, hold on, just one moment. A little bit of setting up. All right. Okay. Ah, here we go. <coughs> Hello. <coughs> Hello everyone. Welcome to Inner Peace Sunday. Yes, as you may see, I am in quite in a strange background place that are not familiar to you. Yes, that means I am not in my usual place, which is in London. In fact, I am now in Manchester Temple branches in uh, UK. So therefore, I don't have that much luxury option to offer for you today, but I have some good story that may be inspired and help you with the inner peace mind for our meditation today. So stay tuned. However, since today, right now, it is quite sunny. And I hope you all have a good weather in your place as well. Please, if you are new, don't forget, don't be shy, telling us who you are, where do you live, and your local time, so that we can get to know each other. As for the time being, for those who are joining at the moment, let's see it, so allow me to greet them before we start our meditation. Hello Ashley, good to see you, thank you very much. Are you busy? If you are, oh there, it's easy, okay, good, now I see your face. We're being a little bit down, okay? <laughs> All right, for those who are watching from, uh, let's see, from Facebook, uh, let's see who else. Hello, Miss April, good to see you, the first one today. Yes, in a peace Sunday, never better. And Miss Irene, thank you very much for joining. Miss Claudia, all right, from Brazil. Miss Gigi, whoa, it's been a while. I haven't seen you for a long time. Hopefully, we can meet each other again. But how though? Because now I am in London and my fat is getting a little bit fat from, you know, good food, good place and healthy mind too. So quite happy. <laughs> Therefore, it's just a little bit widening and than usual. Hopefully, I can get back in shape later on. All right, good to see you, Miss Emily. All right, 6.30, yes. Thank you for being patient with me coming. But hey, you know, now it's only once a week, so hopefully you can manage it well. And Miss Lenia, good to see you as well. Miss Kellen, there, I've been thinking of you. Haven't seen you for a while. Not, therefore, hope you are doing good and enjoy. Mr. Tom, good to see you too. Hello, Kathy. Ah, from AK Arkansas. Well, I believe this is maybe our first time, but hey. Hope we have a good time, good inner peace time together. And today's story that I have prepared. Ah, we have another one too, Miss Kathleen. There you go. A little bit late, but never better. Hello, thank you for coming, Miss Kathleen. Thank you for joining us too on our previous session. But anyway, please enjoy the time together with me and Mr. Cat, Miss Kathy. If you are new, please let me know by watching. I'll leave the comments so I know if you are new, so I can give you some instruction if you need for meditation. But Nevertheless, allow me to, well, telling you the story before I forget, because keep talking too much, maybe forget what I am about to say. Today's topic that I prepare is a good story that I have brought and came across. It's about yin, yang, and neutral power of the mind. How does it, it, how does it influence the way we think, the way we act? Listen to this story, and it may change in you giving you some perspective about meditation and inner peace. Well, as the story goes, once upon a time, in a long distant past, but not that long though, about 100 years ago, or maybe two maximum, there was a time of samurai. And the master of the school, having difficulty to decide who would be his successor, because all three of his disciples I mean, actually, top three. I think he has more than you. He has more than what we mentioned, but it's just that these three are the best. But he just couldn't decide who should be his next successor to the school of the sword masterman mastership. So thus, he decided to put on the test for these three disciple. So he called them up and said, "All right, I would like to give you." some test, see how you progress, and let's see how it's good for all of you. The stack is quite simple. You don't have to do anything much, but all you have to do is, well, go into the barn where I own. This barn has a horse, but it's quite known and reputation for very wild because it's 
you know, very uh, wild nature. So therefore, all you have to do this simple tag is go walk around the horse. If you can pass that tag, you are good to go. So that's the samurai A, let's call them that name. I just, you know, couldn't remember the Japanese name. So just go with this, samurai A. Samurai A, first, when he approached the horse, he looked at the horse, he noticed it's very strong. The leg is very, you know, powerful. So if approaching it too much, it could attack him at any angle with the full force. So in this case, with his speed and power, he go directly walking very fast with his power. With his speed, the horse cannot catch him up, but because it try to catch up, it is feel that it's threat to it. So it's try to kick, but his power and speed, he block all the kick from the horse. And finally, in every ankle, if he move it, the horse will try to kick him and he just, you know, swiping and if it come to him, he just block. And finally, he was able to defend himself and walk completely the whole circle around the horse and walk off. And that's the end for Samurai A. But this time, Samurai B turned when he see that Samurai A has using his power, which is quite opposite to him. But this time, he prepared himself quite well, but knowing that if he used the sword, he could hurt the horse. So this time he just act himself like he holding a sword. But he didn't hold anything, so he just put himself in a stance that make the horse feel that he holding something that it feel a threat to it. But instead of trying to block it, this samurai charged into the horse and using his power from the voice and his action as stands try to hitting the horse. The horse feel dread and is scared because of the stance that he charging towards the horse. is frozen and is unable to, you know, kind of like react. So the man using his voice, ah, very loud, making the horse very stunned. So he walk around easily, the horse, complete the tax quite fast without any thought, think, putting too much thought to do it. But then, what should the third one do? But this time, this man, he just walk easily, smile, without having any threat toward the horse or bad intention. So the horse doesn't move, the horse doesn't look, doesn't even care. When he walking to watch, approach the horse and walking around, just kind of like don't pay attention to the horse. He just walk around idly and slowly, bit by bit, until complete the tax by walking around the horse without having any uh, attack or anything from the horse at all. Then, after they completes all the task, they went to see their master. The master observing all the reaction that his disciple has done to the horse. So he mentioned this at the end of the, uh, <coughs> of the test. He said that, Samurai A, you have a very powerful block. And so, you use the power of Jin to block all the attack from the horse. I, that's allow you to complete all the task. Samurai B, your power is Yang. It's very powerful and it's making a threat to the horse. It's scared and unable to attack you. But Samurai C, you use the power of neutral mind. The horse doesn't feel threat. Thus, you don't get hurt. And you walk around normally and friendly to the horse. Well, what I need is the mind that like you, who is neutral. Don't use, too po don't use power in, to attack or to block, but instead use neutral power to convince and doesn't create threat to the horse. This is something. So he decided Samurai C to be his successor. So from the story, as you can see, the mind itself can be used in both defend and attack. But the mind that is neutral, make yourself be safe and be friend everywhere you go. Therefore, everyone, I hope you all enjoy meditating with me today soon. And check yourself th three things before we start our meditation. First of all, if you are going to meditate, but 
you feel that you need to call someone, now will be the good time. But if you don't, well, you could ready to go for this task. Or if you still okay and not sure, it best is to put your mobile phone into silent or turn it off, so that way it won't disturb your inner peace time. Second, if you need to use toilet, now will be the good time. And last but not least, check and see if the room that you are about to meditate is peaceful. Oh, I'm in a quiet shut room, so I hope it's okay, but you know, external sound like this plane flying can maybe rarely come into the mind at some time, so please bear with me. That's the best I can do. But at the very least, I hope we enjoy our time together. Because Inner Peace Sunday is a place and a community where anyone who likes to meditate come together at the same time, same place from around the world. So I hope you enjoy the story and let's find Inner Peace together, everyone. Well, let's see. We still have a few minutes. Hello, Miss Sharon. Thank you. Yes, it's hot today, so it's good to be outside. And yes, I am going out to walking around where I live. Just a bit. Hopefully, they don't close though. Therefore, I'm gonna have a good time and in the peace time with you all too. All right. Let's see who else. Well, we can still got two or three more minutes. Allow me to give proper introduction before we start though. What we are main doing practice in our inner peace Sunday is the middle way meditation. All right, everyone. But 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 the middle way meditation itself. You know, it also kind of like helping yourself to focus on these two things. So let's go with this uh, presentation. Yeah. Okay. Good. First of all, hello, Gigi. You watching from Zoom too? Okay. Cool. Welcome. <laughs> well, <clears throat> first of all, foundation for the meditation is relaxation and mindfulness. Well, there are more a little bit, but for introduction, it should be enough. But either way, this must be from the beginning until the end. So please keep this in mind. And also, when you find this, if you have symptoms, something like feeling uncomfortable, time fly by very slowly. When it's gonna be over, and you don't want you want to quit, please note that these are the signs that you're trying too hard. Make itself easy, relax. We're not gonna rush because the mind cannot be rushed. Take it easy there, right? And if you have wandering thought of falling asleep, please note that is because yes, everyone, you are relaxing too much. You do to for focus, so stay in the balance. So when you stay in the balance, next you need to do is maintain your focus. So the focus is one. You can use your visualization to visualize something simple, something that don't make you think or create emotion. Something like the sun, the moon, a star, or the crystal ball. Something simple enough that don't disturb your inner peace. But please note though, if you visualize them and you feel tension on your forehead or feeling stressed, you can skip that. Take it easy there. Just enough. Something like, if I said, can you recall what the sun looked like? The image of the sun coming to your mind, that's good enough. All right? Or in case if you have a lot of thoughts that could disturb your mind, well, everyone here, use this mat uh, method or mantra. It's more like repeating words that can help you focus and calm your thought. Something like this. Well, I use it in my temple, but you can use your own though. Well, maximum two words I would recommend. Further longer than that is also okay, but you know, take your time, find yourself adjustment. Okay. The mantra we use in our temple is Samma Arahang. Yes, everyone. Samma Arahang. These two words came from our great master using when he meditate. It's a Pali language. It's loosely translated as the right path or the right way to be away from trouble or defilement that disturb the inner peace of the mind. So that is the correct path to, for you to find yourself in inner peace of purity. So that's this is how we do. But how do you know if you do it correctly? Well, if you receive joy, happy, or even the least be content, that's a good start for meditation. So all right, everyone, if you're good to go, oh, well, let's start our meditation then. Well, everyone, is, the number is less and less. Well, hopefully they will come. 
All right, stay tuned after the meditation, all right? So have a good time, everyone. Let's meditate together then. All right, sharing screen. All right, oh, we got someone come joining soon too. Helen, all right, cool. Okay. All right, everyone, let's begin our meditation. Let's begin our meditation. So let's close our eyes gently and softly. Just like you are about to fall asleep. and relax both body and mind finding yourself sitting in the most comfortable position to begin the meditation let's begin to adjust by relax from the top of our head. Relax down to forehead, eyebrows, loosen eyelids. No need to look. Are you seeing your eyes? As we try to disconnect from all kinds of distraction into our mind. Continue down, making your face become soft and your head feeling light relax down to the neck shoulder arms and all the way to the tips of your hands adjusting your back your body make them free from all the tension that may arise Relax your abdomen, allowing yourself breathe in and breathe out easily. Continue down further, down to the leg. Knees all the way to the feet completely. Making your whole body totally comfortable on this moment. Body and mind are connect. If the body adjust properly and feel relaxed, the mind would follow. If 
see if you feel content or be happy as of you are in this moment no need to adjust further then continue to adjust the mind Empty your mind, putting down everything aside. Bring back your mind, your awareness while you breathe in. Clear the thoughts, empty the mind. While you breathe out, take a deep breath, slowly breathing it out, continue for a few more times until you feel peace and climb then imagine that you are alone in this place somewhere in the nature with an open space make you feel calm and peaceful Continue on until yourself feeling like you are alone without anyone to disturb or bother you. Feeling as if you are the only one in this world sometimes the mind may wandering outside it is the mind's nature to be wandering we can always bring back the mind by imagining the sun inside our cell where we rest the mind let the mind let the mind enjoy its freedom let it coming back the moment we imagine the sun continue to observe peacefully should the thought arise don't worry let it be and let it go Instead, be neutral to all experience as you observe the sun. If you like, you could recite the mantra in the mind until the mind has calmed down. Or the mantra fades away by itself, and the mantra is Samma Abraham. Oh.
Hadir Allow the mind to rest inside yourself as the mind gradually comes to a standstill. Joy and peace would feel in the mind. Sharing this feeling, the feeling that open up to love freely, without any condition. Sharing this feeling to the people that you love, starting from yourself to everyone in this place, your room, to your home, your family, sharing this feeling further. to your friends, your neighbor, neighborhood, your town, your states, your country, eventually the whole world, sharing loving kindness with them all. Wishing everyone to be happy, free from dangers and suffering. Spending these few moments, spread your loving kindness.
stay still allow the mind to rest within the body in the balance of mindfulness and relaxation continue on after the meditation so you can be with inner peace everywhere you go as the tradition in our temple, the monk would chant a blessing to end the session. So you may open your eyes after the meditation and the blessing. Sapaputta Nupavena, Sapatama Nupavena. Sapasanka Nupawena Satta Soti Pawantote May you all be happy and find inner peace. <coughs> now you can slowly open your eyes. Welcome back everyone. Hmm, seem like internet is slow on and off something but well for those who are watching and zoom hopefully there's no problem well allow me to uh, check just a few moment for those of you who are regular go ahead you know what to do for those who are new please leave the comment as following here for those who are feeling relaxed could you share by <coughs> leave the comment as one for those who feeling or experience something like time fly by very fast or feeling like your body disappear, leave the comment as two. All right. It seems like internet is stuck on in here. All right, the chat. Thank you for sharing, Miss Ashley. All right, Miss Gigi, one and three. That's very good. Hmm. Anyone else for sharing? I see. I need to check that. Ah, here we go. All right. <coughs> Hmm, it seems like something stuck on the Facebook here, but it's still recording. So I think I'm going to post it on YouTube and you can watch the rerun after for those who having difficulty with the internet. It seems like the upload internet system in this temple are not very good, but download is too fast. Maybe they don't focus on that. <laughs> anyway, all right. <coughs> Hello, Miss Catherine for two. Okay. Hmm. As for the meditation itself, Okay, just a few moments. If you are watching at the moment, I'm not sure who is watching. Miss Charon, are you still there with me? All right, Mr. Kuma is still there, okay. Let me try this by not using Wi-Fi. Hmm. I'll get back to you in a few moments. All right, let's try using my phone then. See how it goes. Don't get stuck, don't get stuck. All right, good. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully it's better. All right. My video window up. Okay, has been passed. It should resume shortly. Okay. Hopefully it's resume now because in my internet is work. Okay, it's better now. Okay, now I'm back. I'm back on and off. Okay. All right, everyone, it should be better. Okay, good. Yeah, understand. Facebook is quite bad today. Because of internet here, I'm broadcasting both Zoom and Facebook. That's why it's using more extra. But anyway, now it's back. Everything is normal. My phone is helped save the day. Yeah, pay more attention to my phone. Maybe better next time. All right, let's go back to our thing. <coughs> As you practice meditation, sometimes good, sometimes bad. The thing about that is showing the condition of our mind are not quite stable. That is also 
depend on the factor as well that we are experiencing on each day in our life but it doesn't, doesn't mean that it's gonna be bad all the time it is just on and off but the thing that we should learn from our experience in here is that we should remain calm and neutral never be too happy to what we have achieved never be too sad to what we do not expect the, uh, the, the things do not go the way we expect it is quite common in our life as well someone once told me and taught me that if you are gonna do something use your feeling to tell you which is okay or not if you're feeling calm and peaceful feeling confident that you are feeling okay without any doubt any second thought that could be the right way for you this is something that we can use similar to, to similarly to what we have in mind the woman used to say woman intuition right everyone if you have that or explain that yes but usually thing is when we have such good intuition we don't do the way we just have that so it just come out the opposite so all we have to experience is accepting as it is because we are the one who making choice but thus it is everyone if our mind are peaceful and calm at all time no matter how bad it get it doesn't mean that we are not responsible we don't really it doesn't mean that we don't care but we accepting thing as it is thus we don't struggle to make ourselves feel trouble for more instead we enjoy and progress to our achieve then if we feel it doesn't go the way we want next time we try to do it better and try to find solution that can help yourself to progress rather than stick in the past and don't progress and unable to go beyond above to where you used to be it is something but in order to do so everyone to let go to accept that is something that doesn't come easy it usually come to our experience in life or if it help it also help if you meditate when you begin to meditate at the beginning if you are not consistently practice every single day sometimes it will take us a while to come back but if you do it every day the feeling of ex, uh, ep, of contentment of accepting it will easily achieve achieve and you don't wander and ponder too much into your past because when your mind are within you it is a proof and sign that you living in the present so you live in the present you don't worry about too much the past or you don't worry about the war or the future or thinking too much about the past you just peace and calm manner and your head will be feeling empty kind of like that it doesn't mean that you don't think but you just feel okay to be like this and you want to be like this but if you maintain the mind in the bright full mind manner at all time you just have this feeling coming out and show it on to your face by itself without having anyone try to please you or anything your mind already feel joy as it is therefore practicing meditation can also be practiced and be part of your life when you are open your eyes so this is something that i like to keep you reminding everyone here that right now i'm in trouble ring so I am sure you may have experienced a lot of uh, online teaching, which is a lot of opportunity for, uh, you know, in our temple or in many places. But well, if you have time for once a week, come here to join sometime would be nice. And one thing that I like to remind you, allow me to uh, sharing this, just few moment. Oh well, oh, here we go. All right. I think I forgot to put this in. Oh yeah. All right. Almost there, everyone. Ah, here we go. Yes, this coming 
Wednesday, everyone, I would like to invite you all to join our full moon of peace. Yes, July 13, this Wednesday. It is our full moon night, full moon of peace. So I would like to invite everyone here to come join our meditation online by on this full moon. But of course, if you have your candle, don't forget to bring it. And the time and place, let's take a look here. For July 13, it would be on Chicago at 8 p.m. For those who live in Asia, like in Hong Kong, it will be at 9. Oh, actually, the time they put in here is quite wrong. I have to adjust it. I have to check it out. Just, you know. Anyway, Bangkok, Hong Kong. Hong Kong will be 9 a.m. Bangkok will be 8 a.m. in July 14 in the morning. So if you don't go to work yet, come join us. Don't forget to bring your candle. Because on this full moon, it is associated with Yes, it is one of the important days. It's called the complete of the triple gem. It is eight months after the Buddha enlightened. So that's when oh, it's about two months after the Buddha enlightened. Eight months was uh, Makapusha, not this time. This is Asa Pusha, the eight month when the Buddha teach for the first time and the monk ordained in Buddhism that's become complete of the triple gem, the highest respect object in Buddhism is celebrated on this day and the day after that will be the beginning of the rain retreat where the monk come to making resolution to stay at one place for three one month period to train their mind in meditation stay in one place so that's this is something that I like to invite everyone to come join yes this time for those who are in United States you don't have to get up early so you can come join us on this day so that's hopefully you are spending the time to come with me on this day at 8, 8, 8 p.m at night all right so i think that's about the time i think it should summarize up i don't want to take too much of your time now but at the very least hope to see you all on our inner peace uh, full moon of peace on this upcoming wednesday and don't forget our regular meeting on Sunday, in a piece Sunday, just like this time. I have already prepared the presentation. The next topic on our upcoming next in a piece Sunday is what is worth, uh, what is more valuable and worth than money? Yes, let's find that out on our upcoming next in a piece Sunday. Thank you everyone for joining me today and I hope to see you again next time. Thank you Ashley, Miss Gigi, Miss Helen and Miss Kathleen, also Lenia for joining us later, sharing this from her meditation, Mr. Kuma and whoever else that I did not see on this Facebook. Hopefully you enjoy your time with me and see you again next time.